once again, read and reread the problem. Make sure you understand what's going on. And also go ahead and let X represent what you're looking for. We are looking for how many cartons he can pack in eight hours. Remember, we're given that he worked six hours and packed 86 cartons. Notice in the numerator, I just happened to put hours. In the denominator, I just happened to put cartons. But now that I've done this, I'm going to keep things so that I have hours in the numerator, cartons in the denominator. So let's continue. At this rate, how many cartons can he pack in eight hours? So eight is the numerator. It's hours. And how many cartons can he pack? There's our proportion. To solve this application, we'll solve this proportion. So let's go ahead and multiply. Let's multiply 8 times 86. 8 times 6 is 48. And 8 times 8 is 64. And that's 68. So 86 times 8 is 688 equal to 6 times x, or 6x. How do we solve this equation? We'll solve by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 6. The left side, or I should say the right side, I have 1x, or simply x. The left side, we need to go off to the side and divide 6 into 688. Let's see what we have. 6 divides into 6 one time. 6 divides into 8 one time, but then I have left 2. I'll bring down the 8. And how many times does 6 divide into 28? That would be 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. And then I have left 4. So what is my result? It would be 100. 14, and then I have 4 over 6. If you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and simplify that. 4 over 6 simplifies to 2 over 3. So as part of our problem, what does that mean? That means in 8 hours, he can pack 114 and 2 thirds cartons.